Good stuff. So Seekers Podcast. I'm here with Oddboy Ten. Correct. Yes. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. It's good to um, be here. It's good to finally be down and do one of these. I'm excited. Cool, man. So let's start from the beginning. What's the story behind your name? Uh, yeah. So the artist's name is Oddboy Ten. Uh, and Oddboy Ten, there's many layers to why I call myself Oddboy Ten, but fundamentally, it's um, Oddboy kind of represents like chaos. Um, the unknown, not really knowing where you are, and um, pain, struggle, and then ten is like when things are, you know, very known and you'll feel strong, powerful. Um, ten is um, order and structure, um, and bringing them two together, those two worlds is when like all the beauty and the, just the magic of just the living and life come together, and that's why uh, I call myself Oboe Ten. Um, I just see myself kind of going back and forth between these two states and. I realize I can't have one or the other. It has to be both. I like it, man. Cool. So what kind of music are we talking about? Uh, I, I generally call it alternative soul, but um, I started off producing hip hop. Then I started branching off into more psychedelic elements, more electronic elements. And I was just like a, a mixture of those. But mainly, if you listen to my music, you're going to be feeling a lot of um, soulful vibes and definitely... Um, a lot of hip hop influenced music as well. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of influences, what artists are are you inspired oh, by? Wow, that's a that's a crazy. I think uh, my main artist, uh, someone like Bilal, singer Bilal, huge, huge, huge inspiration. Lupe Fiasco, um, Jay Dilla, of course. Um, it's, it's obvious. Um, Kanye West, um, um, Most Def as well. But uh, yeah, and I guess it, it, the list goes on. But it's a lot of uh, just gen general uh, the hip hop greats and the soul greats as well, D'Angelo. Um, but yeah, yeah. All right. How long you been in the game? I've been making music for quite a number of years now. Um, I started producing when I was in secondary school. So this is I went to Sedge Hill, which is like in Catford down road. Um, so yeah, I started producing when I was in year, uh, year nine, year 10. And then from there, it's just kind of been in and out because I went to uni, I went to uni to study economics. Yeah. And then I went to the financial industry for a bit and didn't really like it. So it's kind of like after that, I was like, right, cool, let's back to music then. And then, uh, yeah. So, so now you got like, the business skills as well. Uh, it's growing, yeah, man. It, it really does help, man. It really does give you, give me a bit of an edge in certain areas, but you know, I couldn't do the... Uh, Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Speaking of business then, so what kind of uh, releases do you get out there at the moment? So I've recently released uh, my very first EP called Ulogy. Um, Ulogy is a testament to just everything that made me. Um, it's about my mother, my father. It's about um, discovering myself as an artist. And it's about just growing up uh, essentially as a, as a human being from South London. Mm and that, that journey of discovery it's only four tracks yeah. but um, yeah each track is dedicated to each team um, so yeah that's really the I released it and I released a on my Instagram page oddboy10 O-D-D-B-O-Y-T-E-N on Instagram uh, I released a um, visual story called The Parable of Oddboy right. which is like a very short parable I told of this young character called Oddboy and he goes through all of these different scenes and emotions and he transitions to the final part where he just kind of rediscovers himself and that's what led up to the release of Beauty Cool. Yeah. And how's that been received so far? Have you been doing like a launch party or like you sent it into... I didn't even do the launch party. I, I, people were asking me, oh, are you going to do it? Nah, I didn't do it. Um, but I did do... Uh, I kind of just put it out there after the parable and yeah, it, it's been received, I would say well, really well. Um, I've been... Basically, since it's come out, it's just been shows, really. Yeah. Just so many, just being booked. Recently, the last show I did was Ashton and Friends. That was in Dalston. Um, really, really nice venue, the Victoria in Dalston. Um, and I've really put, I just, I did, what did I do? I came out, if you look at the Parable of Oddboy, yeah. I came out on stage in the same outfit as Parable of Oddboy. So there's pajama bottoms, there was like a whole crown and all sorts of stuff. And I started the performance from the audience because I really wanted to um, just to challenge myself and challenge the audience as well, give them something, um, something that they weren't expecting, give them something that will maybe make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, yeah, that's what I did. What's been the, the highlight of your live performances so far? Um, I guess that would that would be one of them. But I mean, Jazz Cafe was great. Um, I did Jazz Cafe earlier last year um, with Caleb Femi, which was really dope. Um, and I was singing some of the songs from Uli G there. Uh, at the last one was really cool as well. Um, um, I did Not In Your Arts Club as well. So Not In Your Arts Club, Jazz Cafe, and um, the last one in the Victoria at Dawson. That was really cool. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Big highlights. You got any festivals coming up this summer? Or um, I'll be at the Half Marathon. No, no festivals planned just yet. Yeah. But I'll be at the London Half, Half Marathon. Um, I'll be singing there. Cool. Uh, then we'll be at the Albany in March, I believe. Um, I'll also be this, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, South Street as well later in March as well. So there's there's dates coming up, but it, obviously as these things go, sometimes it comes in, sometimes it doesn't. So see what happens. What about uh, is it going to be a part two for your EP? No part two. No, there's not going to be part two. What I what I will probably do is um, I'm working with a lot of artists now. Um, there's another artist called RK. Um, he's part from Orphan Gang. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah I'm working with him so we're putting out some, something really really soon I'm not allowed to say but it's coming soon uh, it's going to really, really, surprise huh? really, yeah really really exciting project he's putting out a tape um, which has got a lot of people from the industry um, from, from the scene I would say from our scene going to be on it so it's going to be really exciting definitely cool man what about any music videos you got anything out on YouTube yeah so we're, we're, I'm working on a visual project to tie in with the Powerball of Oddboy mm-hmm. that's on my Instagram page and um, so stay tuned for that that's going to be really really exciting and I'm going to definitely bring more of the Oddboy character out mm-hmm. and um, really explore it um, in in visual form, is it is it a music video? Is it a documentary? Is it a um, film? I don't know. We'll see. It's I guess it's all free. Uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so you you sound like you're wearing a lot of hats. You do oh yeah production vocal. You got mm-hmm. a bit of business background. Yeah. You're into the visual elements. Yeah. You picked up a lot of things along the way. I'm assuming. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's the most important thing you've learned in your adventures? Uh, is about basically the most important thing I've learned is to basically learn myself yeah. is to actually learn who I am and ask the question um, like why am I doing this and uh, must I do it if I have to because you can spend your life doing anything do you want to make money mm. do you want to be a musician do you want to want to just be famous do you want to whatever it's like the, the most thing I've learned is to actually really get down to understanding myself it doesn't really matter if I've got the flyers closed or the most money or the best song or whatever it's like why am I doing it because really it's about me and living my life and how do I want to live it and how do I want to go so yeah cool man and Instagram's your main online platform or you got a website or anything uh, else you want to promote there's no website but um, my uh, the collective slash label that I'm on is Rhythm and Reason we're going to be launching our website um, very soon in the, in the 20 uh, it's tw- in 29 27 days whatever the calculations is if you go to rhythmandreason.com dot co dot uk sorry rhythmandreason.co.uk you'll find all, all of that um, so our guys are going to be releasing um, our website and all that's going to be on there but for me I'm mainly on Instagram yeah, yeah. so find me and Apple Music and Spotify that's where you can find the EP and all the lovely stuff cool man Upward 10 thanks for yeah, popping in appreciate it man thank right. you good thanks to have you